what uh, uh, what has been your assessment so far when you've heard? Is it anything new that you've learned? There is a there is a lot uh, there is a lot that I've heard before, but yeah. of course there is a lot uh, new that has been said here today, and uh, uh, there is. Uh, there's in a way hope when we listen to the presentations here today because there is a lot of force behind this uh, group here go moving forward and I'm very glad for that. Tell us about Valenis Water, what you're about. Valenis Water is a uh, water treatment company. Water treatment, uh, we are developing technology for water treatment in, uh, in different areas. Uh, we uh, develop solutions for our customers' environmental challenges. So we can, for example, solve uh, uh, hindering waterborne diseases or hindering spread of invasive species in ship ballast waters, which is one of the global challenges that we see in front of us. And how has it been helpful to apply the, the natural step and the stepwise methodology? It gives, uh, first of all, uh, being part of this uh, gives a lot of inspiration and understanding that we are part of a, of a, of, of a bigger scene and, and uh, that we can contribute from our little turf uh, with bits and pieces, but then to apply a methodology is of course very helpful when working with complex uh, questions. Did you ever feel that you were sacrificing something in order to get this competitive edge before your no, colleagues? Uh, you see, our company is it's so much focused on environmental uh, issues so that we don't really see that we s sacrifice anything. I'm also an engineer, so I must say that we should also, uh, we should also trust technology to a larger extent. Mm. Uh, because thanks to uh, new technology, we can solve many of these challenges. And I think that we are too slow in accepting new technology. This is part of building the new society. Out of fear or out of ignorance? Well, this is like change management, you know? You have to accept the change. And you have to accept that we can apply new technology to old, uh, old, old problems, old challenges. Are we uh, stuck? We, we are stuck. We are stuck uh, through our behavior, uh, and we are stuck through uh, ho the whole society, how it's been built up. I mean, all the, uh, the policies and the regulations, uh, governmental bodies uh, say that you should do like this and that. So then we it's, it's very, uh, it's very uh, troublesome to apply uh, new technology. But uh, would you agree as an engineer that sometimes we tend to expect people to be more rational than we are? No, oh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. So, <laughs> so we need to understand human behavior and how to, to really absolutely. change. And absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and we can, of course, together, by understanding this together, we can uh, form a much stronger force and we can then push for change and uh, the acceptance of the change as well. Do you think that it's hard for, for business owners to understand the self-interest and economic revenue of going this way? Well, if you're talking about my customers, uh, absolutely, yes. Okay. It's hard to find, uh, to, to have the customers to understand and see the, the, the both the economical and the environmental value in what we can, uh, what, what we can offer, of course. So what is your tips to, tip to everybody? What have you well, I think oh. that uh, what we have started here today is a, a long journey. So that is, is again about working together, understanding and helping each other. And through dialogue, we will have a much better understanding. And trust, of course, of course. Is, is crucial. Yes. So, what are, uh, so that's, I guess, then your hope for today that you will... Uh, is it anything in particular that you would like to, to uh, ask for, search for here today? Uh, I will have my ears uh, very much open here today because I'm looking forward to hear and get the insight also from everyone else here to help me to continue on this journey. And that again, I, uh, it's one of the things the, the Native Americans love that we have the round table, you know, the study circles in our tradition that it's not somebody superior with all the knowledge but everybody listens together and learn and that is very inspiring. So uh, we're looking forward to learn about water and to get you some more input. Thank, Thank you, you so much, Torka. Thank you.